think that I'm stupid You must think that I'm a fool You must think that I'm new to this But I have seen this all before It is cold outside. Good morning everyone. It's 8 o'clock early in the morning and it's cold. Very cold. If you're wondering where we are, we are at my work. Let me show you around. Yeah, let's go. Go, go. So, if you're following my Instagram, wait, if you're not following my Instagram, what are you doing, sucker? But if you are following my Instagram, you must have seen that I recently posted about going to a lot of different places this summer, and I'm excited, but I'm going to share with you top five, 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 five tips to get the cheapest and the best air flight tickets very where you are going. So if you're into that, stay stay here. Tip number one, keep your searches private. Don't let them see what you're doing. Usually when you use different browsers and everything, for some reason they know what flight paths you're looking at. And once you go back again, because you're not going to buy the first time, they'll raise up the prices and it's very unlikely you get a cheap flight the second time you're looking because they know you, you need that and they, for somehow they track it. So use a incognito web browser. Just keep your searches private. really helps. It is 11.30 right now and we are off work. I have 30 minutes before my next class i'm gonna go see my friend brian brian is the person whose brain gets my brain working if you know what i mean so i'll see you guys down here thank you brian Other important tip is that whenever you're booking a flight, try to use like different flight search engines and engines which are like uh, not too commonly known but are gets you the best price less time and you can set your priorities. So for example, skip legged or travel a city or Air Wonder, these are like the search will take the cheapest flights from all airlines, compare it for you and serve you the best options. So instead of looking flights on Google or their website, use these search engines. It'll help a lot. Now, I'm gonna drink this. More like a chocolate guy than vanilla, but anyways, I'm gonna do some experiments. And hang on, because we got more tips to discuss in this video. So stay, stay here. Don't go, don't go, don't click that button. No. As you all can see, I've been just working in the lab. 
time for the third tip. Third tip to save money flying is be flexible with your dates. There are many theories out there like if you book on Tuesdays, Thursday you get cheaper tickets. They might not necessarily be true. Most of the time it's cheaper to fly on weekdays than in weekends but always get a data for the whole month and analyze which days are the cheapest and fly on that day to get the cheapest flight. Gotta go back to work. Yes. Can I please get uh, this, 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 and a little bit of this? Green casserole. Yes, sir. Is it This and this. Spinach and bread. Thank you. Do you guys want to know a way to get a cheaper airline ticket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm sharing five tips. This is tip number four, okay? okay. Right. Find hidden city fares. Okay. So like if you are traveling to, let's say, you want to go to Chicago, find a flight if it doesn't stop at Chicago directly, but maybe goes to like Houston, okay. and then Chicago is a stop, and you are actually going Houston, but you can just drop off at Chicago and then go to Houston don't go to Houston you see that's a trick because if you go to Chicago directly you pay like two three hundred dollars ticket but if you go to Houston and stopping at Chicago and you just get off you only pay like 70 bucks that's an idea that's an idea right yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a deal I like this. I knew that. he knew that because he's international <laughs> well, yeah because he's like where are you from man we got some food. It's piled up. That is my buddy. You want to say hi to the world? Hey, hey, what's up? It is like you know there's chicken in my, in my hand. <laughs> okay. We all started at 8. It is 6.27. What's the time? 6.16. 6.16 right now. We've been going on without food, without anything, without breaks. Grinding at it, hopefully. Good results, right? Hey man, that's always Almost like, what, 10 hours? Yeah, 10 hours. 10 hours, no food. No food, no nothing, no break. Like, back to work. Hey. But now we got food, so I'm gonna chow down this. All right, squad, made it home after almost 11 long hours. But here's the final tip before I let you all go. I need to go. You need to go. It's been a long day. The last tip is always look for websites like secretflying.com and they have flights which are uh, victim to human errors and these are very really short-term flights like they try to fix the error fast but sometimes when people are entering the prices and everything are mismatched they mismatch maybe different price to different seats or uh just mess up a zero or point here and there you can get really really cheap tickets statistics say there are people who got tickets for 15 bucks instead of 150 or whatever it's supposed to be but yeah so look out websites like these and get lucky you might land one of the sweet tickets which was error do not call the airline and make sure because if you call them and tell them about it, they're going to fix it before they sell it to you. Anyways, that was it. I hope you all have a good day. And I'm about to go study more. I'll probably edit this. Anyway, always make... No. Take it back. Be humble. Be kind. Always make choices. I'll see you some another day. Goodbye. What up? Goodbye. I can't, I don't, or I can just keep talking. No, I don't want to do that. You guys gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta think to do. It's so toasty. My plan's growing. Anyways, yeah, goodbye. See ya. Life, come in. Sure, sure, whatever he says. Do whatever I say.